We did it. We did it. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. I wish I could put music right now, but it's definitely going to get copyrighted. But we did it. We did it. We did it. Okay, sorry. I can't sing. And I don't know if that was, that probably was off key, but we're done. Oh, I just submitted my final assessment. I just finished or uploaded my JavaScript cha coding challenges that we were supposed to have done by the end of the cohort. I am done finito goodbye the it end. has been such a long journey and i'm so happy that i'm finally finished and i can finally say that i'm a general assembly software engineer so to quickly go into this week this week was a mess i feel like first project week was a mess i feel like how i came into this program is kind of how i'm leaving and i say that because i thought okay project week two project week three great Project week four, okay, group project. They did warn us that it was gonna be a little challenging because we're in a group setting and in our cases, for our case, it was end up being three group or three of us in a group. And so they did warn us that it'll be a little challenging, but bruh, I did not realize how challenging it was gonna be. I had an amazing group. Well, I won't say amazing group. We we definitely played on our balances. We, uh, we balanced our strengths and our weaknesses, but, um, yeah, I think they're going to rethink allowing us to do React and Django. So we had three groups, since there's only 10 of us in the class, we had three groups of three, and then one person did their own. It was a special case. But, so essentially we had three groups of three, and then we had the option to pick either just doing a completely Python Django project or doing React front end and Django back end, which isn't a, that's not a normal thing. They usually don't go together, but you can put it together and there are benefits to using React, JavaScript, with Django, backend, Python. So two different um, means to put together and that normally isn't a thing. Well, I won't say normally it isn't a thing. It's just, I guess for teaching purposes, they don't do it normally, but they allowed us to do it and they grouped us based on our interests and I thought it was gonna be a great idea to do it. Boy, was I wrong. I felt a little bad because we spent so much time setting up authentication and uh, everything in the back end that I think we only got to, I think we actually got to start the React portion, the front end part of our project, maybe the day and a half before it was due. And that, I mean, the project ended up working out, but we had a deployment lecture. So for every project, they'll show you how to deploy your project, meaning, creating a link, whether it's Heroku or other means on how to put your web, how to put your, um, your project online. So like in the future, instead of always having to send out the GitHub link, you'll have the Heroku or a different means of putting it online. Um, you'll have that option. And so they, we usually have a deployment lecture sometime before the project is due during project week and they'll show us, well, our instructor, and this is the thing about General Assembly. Sometimes I've read, I've read reviews about good instructors. I've read reviews about bad instructors. You'll come to find out who's good and who's not. I won't say bad. What I would say is that they don't care. There are some instructors you will find, figure out and find out they don't care. And then you tend to gravitate towards the one that does care. And I'm not naming any names. I'm just saying it, it's a little off-putting because whether you did the ISA or you're paying for the class out of pocket or you took out a loan, like everybody's entitled to having the education that they're paying for. And I kind of feel a little gypped because you could tell this, this um, teacher didn't care. You could tell this instructor didn't care throughout the cohort, you could tell. Um, what ended up benefiting us is that we did have one that did care. So came to them with our concerns and things like that. So we, they played off of each other, but that's why I stress the importance and what I do think general assembly does do a good job of is when you, if you're having an issue, you need to let them know on those exit surveys. We take exit surveys every week and, um, I think they're called exit surveys or something like that. But at the end of the week, we get a notification that we have one. Really put how you feel on them. Unfortunately, they're not always anonymous. And that's something we found out later on. But I mean, if you, you have to make the best of your education. So at the same time, if you're having an issue with an instructor, you either need to get, schedule a one-on-one -on -one with them 
in or if you don't feel comfortable you need to go ahead and put that on their assessment because i kid you not every time me and my classmates like there was an issue like okay this particular instructor is just talking way too fast we're hitting the slow down in zoom they're not slowing down or whatever the case may be they would it would immediately be addressed whether it be that the instructor manager was in our meeting or watching them which i mean anybody will act properly when they're being watched and or um that feedback was then provided they would kind of the instructor would address it the following week so they're very quick when you have a complaint or you have an issue that's something that needs to be addressed unfortunately this instructor butchered our deployment lecture so we lost five hours the day before our project was due we lost five hours because they were not prepared to teach the react Django groups how to deploy i'm bringing this up because it kind of upset, it didn't kind of, it upset me because styling takes forever. A lot of people underestimate styling. I think our project ended up turning out decent, but there's so much more we could have done with that time. And unfortunately there's gonna be times, I'm sure throughout my career, throughout your career as uh, future software engineers, web developers, or whatever field you wanna go into where there's going to be some major obstacle. And in that case, we lost five hours. I stayed up till 5 a.m. Eastern time because of that five, five hours we lost and I still wasn't finished. So we just kind of had to submit. And then I think we, re we were all on the Eastern standard time. That was the, so that was a benefit. We're all on that time, uh, except for one, but he was only one hour behind as opposed to me working with my West Coast classmates. And um, we got up at like, I think 9.30, so I only slept four hours to be done. And we didn't, we actually never got to deploy because the instructor never figured out how to help us. And there were so many errors. And so our group and the other React Django group, we did not get to deploy our app. So it's just hiding on GitHub. Well, it's not hiding, but it's on GitHub. It's not deployed on the internet. So it kind of annoyed me a little bit. And that's something that's definitely going in the um, exit poll because it's, it just, it's a big disappointment because I feel like I started off terrible for week one or for project one, two, three, great. Four, I'm like, okay, it's group. It's not as much like on you. If you don't understand something, hopefully there's something in the group, which shout out to Chong. That was one of my um, group members. And he really like uh, carried a lot of our weight when it came to the back end Django portion. And um, with all of that being said, I just think that it, it just, it's not how I wanted to end considering that React and Django would have been an awesome project. And we made a, we essentially made an application where General Assembly to students could go log in, create an account and find a tutor close to them in their area um, to tutor them. You know, this is fake. I mean, eventually it could be real, but it's essentially with fake data. Um, it's not a real working website, functioning website. And then, um, and vice versa. So a tutor, a general, a former general assembly st student can go online and create a tutor account, put a rate where they live. And then whether it's in person or um, via Zoom, you know, that's how it would work. And we wanted to incorporate a zip code API that would allow us to uh, allow the student when the student, when they were looking for a tutor to narrow down their search to zip codes in their area. We lost five hours and that deployment lecture was in the evening. So by the time admin stuff and authentication and everything got set up, figured out, it was already 10 o'clock. I think my classmates that deployed, only one of us in the group had to deploy. And our classmates in the group um, that I think they were there till nine and it still didn't even get done. So I enjoyed it. I mean, we were able to invite, I well, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the experience. I think the group was okay. Um, we all played off of each other's strengths. Um, the next day we got to present and we presented to our, we got to invite our class, our family members. So that was awesome, family and friends. So, which I ended up doing and some of them did show up, shout out to y'all. Um, and so we had assessment, that was it. And then we said our goodbyes and it was, I'm not gonna lie, I kinda, I mean kinda, I teared up, I teared up. And it was just because it's just been such a long journey and I think you're so caught up in homework or labs and projects and this and that, that you forget, like this is big accomplishment within a, like within a three month span. For some people it might be six, 
depending on if you're doing part-time or full-time on top of it being online i am not an online class type person and honestly in theory i would have went with the in-person option but i'm very glad i had this experience of doing online because i probably wouldn't have like really picked it beforehand i really wouldn't have been able to see myself blossom and flourish so that was our final week so we are officially done we graduated all 10 of us that lasted we graduated and now it's time for jobs i actually do have some interviews lined up we'll see how that goes on i don't know i told you guys i still have to prep but mainly what i'll be doing is job more job applications prepping for the interviews i have hoping to gain more interviews and um continue to grow, build more projects, things like that. Um, now I have a lot more free time. So a few of you have reached out to me and I've been a little bit slow to respond. And I apologize because the, the original intention of this um, YouTube and the, the current intention is to help navigate, help navigate and answer questions that I felt like I couldn't find or answer online. Um, so now that I have a lot more free time, um, that will, I'll be more, uh, more prompt with my responses or more, I, not more prompt, what's the word? Quicker, quicker response time because now that was my point and that is why this YouTube channel was created. It was to give you guys more advice and be honest because sometimes like I see reviews about bootcamp like, yo, it was great. Ah, this bootcamp kicked my butt. This bootcamp kicked most of our butts, you know, and most people won't say that, but I think it's important because again, I didn't really know what I was getting into. I'm glad I went through it best decision one of the best decisions like i said i've ever made but it was rough it was very very rough so if there are tips and tricks i can give now that i'm on i'm past i'll definitely be doing that so that's what we've been doing moving forward i'm gonna be doing um technical interview prep so i'll be helping with that um, i'll be putting out videos about like how i'm prepping and i'm going to definitely do the typical like what i wish i knew before i started boot camp things to focus on you know, confidence, things like that. This is also, a, this is a tech and lifestyle channel. So now that I have more free time, you will see more videos mixed in with lifestyle. I think I have one about coworkers. So then I got plenty of stories, um, but that's what it's about. The, the main focus of this YouTube and why it was created was for the tech purposes. And I'm glad that I'm able to finally be a resource now that I've made it to the other side. And, um, I don't know how applicable this information will be a few months from now because from what I've been hearing, a lot of these schools are starting to roll back in their um, in-person options, but uh, the concepts and the fundamentals are obviously still going to be the same. So that's all from me. Like I said, you guys, please continue to reach out to me. I love talking to you, reaching out, messaging, communicating. Um, I just, as many people as we can help, if you can, like share subscribe if anybody's interested in going to a coding boot camp you'll be surprised how many people have done it that are around you i found a few once i was interested in it um but share the videos with them so they have an idea of what they might be getting into and like i said i'm always open for questions um my instagram twitter um i'm supposed to say facebook no don't don't contact me on facebook <laughs> uh, but my instagram my twitter and my email are in the description box below I've linked my, um, I'll also link my other class based channel. She may have a different perspective as well. So that's pretty much it for me. But what you can expect is a few more videos regarding, um, coding bootcamp, um, just like project week. I've been promising you guys that video. So, and other videos mixed in there. So this journey has officially begun because this is not the end. This is just the beginning of my official, um, software engineering journey and now that I'm done with the boot camp so I can't wait to take you guys along on the journey I hope you enjoy do not forget who you are and I will see you guys hopefully next week with some updates have a great one